Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to solve the seventh problem statement. So as you already know, you have to click the title. So the problem statement is from a given vertex, we have been given as a source vertex. And from that source vertex, we have to find the shortest path to rest of the vertexes. So to do that, we have been given a graph. So we have to apply the Dijkstra's algorithm and we have to write it in Java. Simple as that. So first we'll see the outline and we'll see the output and we will dive into the code. So to abstractly understand how it works. <coughs> first things first, we have a bunch of functions, only single class. And first is the main function, quite common. And we have a display function to display the results that is from source to other vertices, what is the resistance. And we have a private function which is used in display. I'll tell you in a minute what it does. And this is the main method where we have applied um, digit trust algorithm, type trust algorithm. How do you call it? Type trust, digit trust, type trust. Anyways, so we have a bunch of arrays. Starting with the main function, first we have scanner to scan input from the user, digit trust class, where we can apply, we can call the algorithm. We have a bunch of integers here. <clears throat> n we are storing number of vertices as the comment states so as um sorry i meant i forgot to mention here i have uploaded the source code in my github repository do and check it out so next variable that is int s so that holds the source vertex so from that particular vertex we are going to find the distances to rest of the vertices cool now, after this, we are scanning the number of vertices and storing it in the n variables. We are scanning the graph that is the weighted matrix in the array that is 2D array called A. And once we do that, we are calling the source vertex. We are scanning the source vertex. And after that comes the main part. That is, we are solving it using Dijkstra's algorithm. So, <coughs> once we solve it, the array is going to get, uh, no, nothing is going to get modified. We are just going to my modify a bit of global arrays. So using that, we are calling the display function. We are closing the scanner. Boom, simple. So coming to the next call, that is the solve. For this, before understanding the solve function, let's check out these arrays first, class globals. Distance array, we are using it to store the distances from the vertices from which vertice to which vertice how much distance it is so basically the distance array is used for that and <coughs> path array is helps us to determine let's say suppose for example second vertex if you want to determine if second vertex has been <coughs> come through from the third vertex or it has it has come from the second vertex we are basically trying to find the path via which vertex a particular vertex has been traversed, has been visited. So visited array, simple, we are using it to keep track of a particular vertex is visited or not. So if it's visited, we are not going to visit, again, visit it again. <coughs> Coming to the main function that is solved now, we have three parameters. That is the weighted matrix itself, the source vertex, and the number of vertices in a given graph. Initially, we have a selected vertex as minus one. So that means we are not going to select any particular vertex from which vertex we are going to traverse. And we are going to keep the distance array initially set to 99 and min path array as minus one. Path as minus one <coughs> indicates it's not coming from anywhere. So even if you try to enter zero there, that means it's coming from the zero, zeroth vertex if you are starting the array as from the zeroth vertices. So we are setting it from minus one and distance as infinity, we are taking infinity as 99. So initially after that, we are keeping from distance from source to source vertex, it will always be zero, right? From any given, any given graph. And once we do that, <coughs> we are iterating through all vertices so as you can see the bracket ends here that means we have a quite interesting logic here we are iterating to all the vertices 
and <coughs> we have a variable called minimum so that holds the minimum value of our vertex initially so here after this in this particular for loop what we are doing is we are selecting a vertex which has to be selected that's quite interesting way to arrange the words anyways so as you can see we are calculating the vertex which has the minimum distance and that particular vertex should be not visited so if it's zero so initially we are not initializing visited array that means it is going to return zero so once you do that <coughs> initially first time when it's this iteration runs we will get select we will always select the source vertex because the source vertex index is zero remaining all other vertices index is 99 so the source vertex we are going to mark it as one so keep remember that first time only it will be selected as source vertex next time don't select it and after this here's the main logic so we are again traversing through the all vertices and uh, <coughs> we are applying the relaxation method so if a distance from a particular selected vertex plus from the selected vertex to the vertex which we are trying to uh, visit that is v if we add them and their cost is less than from the directly visiting vertex distance of v and <coughs> the selected vertex and the vertex which we are trying to visit should not be the same and if the vis if the particular vis uh, vertex which we are trying to visit it's not visited already we come down we update the vertex distance which we are trying to visit from the selected formula that is from the selected distance of the selected vertex plus distance cost of the selected vertex to the vertex which we are trying to visit so now after this we are setting the path saying that if suppose v is 1 sorry v is 2 so that means <coughs> path of second vertex is coming from the first vertex that is initially 1 so that's basically how it works so after this we have display function i know you have seen the path function you might be wondering what it does but it's been called from display function so as you can see once we solve it we are going to come through the display and when display comes <coughs> initially it's showing us a particular sentence the shortest path between source s that is source vertex to remaining vertices r it comes down again it's going through n number of vertices if a current vertex is not same as the source vertex we come down we print that and we are finding the current vertex which we are trying to visit its path so here it gets a little bit trickier because it's regressive so if <coughs> this is the current vertex let's let's consider it the current vertex whose path has to be found so it um, let's consider a case where we are trying to find the path of third vertex so what happens is it goes to checks for the third vertex if path of 3 is not equal to 1 that dot equal to minus 1 that means third vertex is third vertex has been visited from any other vertex it's not directly coming from the source vertex <coughs> so again we are calling the path so please do take care here that one is array one is function so it's just a difference tiny difference between the brackets so i thought java would return me an error but it did not cool so again we are finding its path so just recursive call until unless it's minus one so you might wonder on which in on which vertex we are going to get it as minus one and that will be source vertex <coughs> because it's not being visited from any other vertex source vertex is where we are starting it as a origin point so if selected vertex is not same as the source vertex we print that so you can see here from source we are going to this vertex and its distance is going to print and new line is going to occur so that's how it actually works i encourage you guys to see how algorithm um, how algorithm works and manually try to solve it numerically so back algorithm 
it helps you gain much more clear understanding of how it works i traced it out i solved it manually and i have written this program i have took ideas from others as well so that's quite easy let's see the output so here i am in my appropriate folder yep java box let me just compile it. number of vertices as i said is telling us to enter number of vertices five so i have already copied the graph which i was going to demonstrate now so i just paste it out here so these are the values so 99 tends we have considered it as infinity so let's see what it gives us so first it's asking us the source vertex so we are starting the loops all everywhere as one that means if we enter zero it's going to yield us wrong results so one will be a source vertex Boom. so if you see from first to second from first to second it's three so that's the minimum value here from <coughs> first vertex to third vertex we can reach by second vertex via path so path of 3 will be 2 path of 2 will be 1 path of 1 is minus 1 cool so if you see 1 to 2 is 3 now here till here it is 3 from 2 to 3 if you just see from 2 to 3 it's 4 so 3 plus 4 7 so same goes for path of 4 is 2 path of 2 is 1 path of 1 is minus 1 end of recursive function 1 to 2 is 3, here it is, and 2 to 4 <coughs> is here. So 3 plus 2 gives us 5. Cool. Now, again, next path of 5 is 4, path of 4 is 2, path of 2 is 1, path of 1 is minus 1. Cool. <coughs> now, let's see 1 to 2 is 3, and 2 to 4 is 2. Now, here it gives us um, 5 and 4 to 5 <coughs> 4 to 5 is here it gives us 4 so that yields us 5 plus 4 is 9 so that's exactly the answer that we are expecting Woo! so that's it for this video guys I hope you guys liked it if you guys liked it hit that like button let me know what you guys think in the comment section below I'll see you in the next video until then have a great one Boop.